fluid flow flow of fluid basically the fluid flows in two different ways the first way of flow of fluid is called a steady flow or it's also called a streamline flow the second way of fluid flow is called a turbulent flow the fluid flow is of basically two types steady flow or streamline flow second one is a turbulent flow let us try to understand what is steady flow or streamline flow first now steady flow or streamline flow is the slow flow of fluid for example a water flow uh, consider the flow of water in a canal in, in a canal water flows uh, very slowly that is that can be considered as a steady flow or streamline flow now let us consider the flow of fluid flow of water in a uh, in case of uh, floods during the floods uh, water flows heavily with a a large speed with a maximum speed that is can be that can be considered as the turbulent flow now let us try to understand how we define the steady flow or streamline flow now <laughs> suppose this is a tube through which a fluid is flowing like this now how do we understand the steady flow or streamline flow to understand the steady flow we consider a point here called a now at point a the velocity of every particle is constant means every particle crosses the point a with the same velocity means uh, with the same speed and in a same direction means a uh, every particle should cross the point a with a speed v a and this this direction only means uh, if every particle of fluid crosses the particular point uh, with the same speed and in same direction then such a type of uh, fluid flow is called steady flow means in a steady flow at a particular point velocity is constant velocity constant means it is constant in a magnitude and a direction also so at point a the magnitude of velocity is va and this is a direction so every particle crosses the point a with the same magnitude va and in this direction only such a type of fluid flow is the steady flow in steady flow at every particular point velocity is constant but this velocity may change from one point to another point suppose you take point b here at a point b the velocity may be b but it is constant at a point b again means at every point velocity is constant it may change from one point to another point at point a velocity v a at a point b velocity v b and we consider point c here at point c velocity is v c here v a v b v c are individually constants means uh, every particle crossing point a with velocity v a and all particle crossing point b with v b velocity all particle crossing point c with v c velocity such a type of fluid flow is the steady flow in steady flow at a particular point the velocity is constant for all particles means all particles of the fluid crosses the particular point uh, with the same velocity means uh, with a uh, same magnitude of velocity and in a same direction such a type of fluid flow is the steady flow or a streamline flow now we understand uh, what is streamline streamline means it is an imaginary line it is an imaginary line along which a particle of fluid flows in a steady flow suppose this is steady flow in the steady flow a particle of fluid along this flowing along this line along this line uh, you draw an imaginary line this is the streamline streamline is an imaginary line which flows along a path followed by the particle in a steady flow there are few characteristics uh, for a streamline suppose this is a streamline now now at any point if you know the direction if you want to know the direction at point you draw a tangent the tangent drawn to the streamline at any point gives the direction of fluid flow at that point at this point if you want to know the direction at this point we have to draw the tangent to the streamline at this point if you want to know the direction here we want we have to draw the tangent to the streamline so the tangent drawn at any point uh, to the streamline gives a direction of uh, flow of fluid at that point and uh, it is one characteristic 
and no two streamlines intersect each other means two streamlines cannot intersect each other for example this is one streamline and it is another streamline suppose they intersect each other then what happen it is a point of intersection now at this point of intersection we draw a tangent to this streamline and tangent to this streamline what the tangent shows here tangent shows the direction of fluid flow means uh, at this point uh, fluid is a uh, fluid is able to flow in two directions according to this but it is not possible it is which is impossible means a uh, fluid cannot flow in two directions at a particular point but if they intersect the point of intersection we are getting two directions for the fluid flow which is impossible so the two streamlines cannot intersect each other and uh, one more is that the point the region where streamlines are close to each other there the velocity of fluid flow is more and the region where streamlines are far from each other there are uh, velocity of fluid flow is less for example this is showing a uh, a steady flow we consider two points a and uh, b at point a the streamlines are far from each other so, so here velocity is less and here at point b the streamlines are close to each other so here velocity is more so according to this the region where streamlines are far from each other their velocity is less and the region where streamlines are close to each other their velocity is more now these are the characteristics few characteristics of uh, streamlines next we discuss about uh, turbulent flow simply steady flow is a slow flow turbulent flow is a heavy flow but how do we define the turbulent flow turbulent flow is just uh, opposite to the stream streamline flow or steady flow in steady flow we know that at a particular point velocity is constant velocity is constant in magnitude and direction also but in case of turbulent flow at a particular point velocity is a uh, not constant means velocity is not constant means uh, it may not constant in magnitude it may not constant in a uh, direction it may not constant in both means uh, all particles of the fluid cannot cross the particular points uh, with the same velocity suppose uh, this is a uh, fluid flow in this fluid suppose in a fluid flow there is an obstacle this is an obstacle then what happens here the fluid flow may change like this here now after after striking this obstacle the streamlines uh, are drawn like this means uh, at a different points uh, the velocities may different uh, means the direction is changing here and also the magnitude of velocity may change and also after striking this uh, obstacle they may curl means uh, some rotations also may possible these are showing the rotations which are possible here means uh, in turbulent flow the velocity is non constant at a particular point like in a uh, steady flow in steady flow all particles crossing particular point uh, with the same velocity in turbulent flow the all particles are not crossing the particular point uh, with the same velocity means all particles uh, do not cross the particular point uh, with the same velocity it means that they may have different magnitudes at the velocity at that particular point they may have different directions at the particular point they may have different magnitudes at different directions at the particular point such a type of fluid flow is the turbulent flow these are the basic two types of uh, fluid flow steady flow and uh, turbulent flow